Hello, friends, and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact, and it's totally science. Go ahead and look it up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Today we're jumping into r slash neckbeard stories. It actually comes from my personal subreddit r slash red x reads and it is the continuation of an already completed saga, a very beloved saga on this channel to be fair, but it's a little bit awkward. I'm not sure if I'm going to like have to remake the compilation. I'm probably not going to remake the compilation, but this is another additional part of Guitar Beard which I I'm excited to get into. I love those posts from user Ethan Ralph is fat. Always well written, entertaining, also hilarious. We are live streaming this on Twitch. If you'd like to come through and visit me, that'd be neato. We'll get some additional plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive right into some of this r slash neck beard stories. Ah, uh, cringe. Guitar Beard, episode five and a half. Yeah, I guess we know exactly where to slot it. <laughs> a life-changing sum of money, which I'm sure Guitar Beard proceeded to squander. <laughs> what are you going to do with your money? I squander it. Who's got her wall? I really hope that it's not Guitar Beard receiving this sum of money because Otherwise, it's doomed. Somebody worked their whole life for that inheritance, and he just basically burned it all. I guess we'll see. Uh, welcome to Guitar Beard, episode five and a half. An episode from the cutting room floor, if you will. Oh yeah, some of that extended cut, that exclusive content, delicious. When I was writing Guitar Beard originally, I focused a lot on a series of events that stood out as the meat of the story. I wanted it to be more or less a straight line of escalation. In my haste, I left a couple of interesting stories on the cutting room floor. These aren't stories of Guitar Beard's one-itis or stories about him being the worst possible person ever ever. No, these are just stories of his absolute incompetency at being a human being. God, I love that. <laughs> Those are my favorite kind of beards, honestly. I don't want to see him be the worst person. Just show me him being a, a dope. Because even when things look dark, even when life gets real bad, I can always point to Guitar Beard and say, well, uh, it's not as bad as, as that guy is doing. You know what I'm saying? These half episodes are mostly lighter in topic and can be considered a sequel, though my intention is that they are supplemental material not a continuation which means yeah don't cut it into the saga because it's just gonna water it down and stuff before we get into all that though if you don't know who guitar beard is here's a link to a narration of the original seven parts they are narrated by possibly one of my favorite youtubers on the platform Ah, oh, you're making me blush and i personally think he is criminally underrated that's true. Who do we need to put in jail? Susan, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Watch it. Then I click the link and it goes to Hell Freezer or something. No, just kidding. It is the Guitar Beard Saga from your, your good pal, Red X. And yeah, I, I might get more popular with this channel if Reddit content ever comes back around. Really, I missed out on the heyday. The heyday was like a good four years ago. I started content about two years ago, so... I was on the tail end, you know, now I just have to do it better and longer than anybody else. And the better part is debatable, even. So, <laughs> enough about that. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead. We'll get into our cast list. OP, hey, that's me. <laughs> Everyone's friend, Ethan Ralph is fat. He's such a good boy. We love him so much. What a pillar of the community. At this time in my life, I am a manlet, edgy, pseudo-goth who spends a lot of time experimenting with mind-bending substances, as college kids are wont to do. That's right, lick a hypnotoad and stuff like that. See what happens! Guitar Beard, of course, GB for short, a man who is constantly coated in a thin film of grease, from his hair all the way down to his fungal toes. 
smells of stale grease, unwashed socks, and baby gravy. Ugh. Still unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, chooses to wear a flat cap instead of the traditional fedora. Passionate about gambling, old N64 games, and alcohol. His chronic alcoholism is the impetus for most of his bad decisions. Currently in an off phase with his on and off again girlfriend, Chastity, who we heard a whole hell of a lot about in the Guitar Beard Saga. And just as an aside, complete non sequitur, can we finally agree that Nintendo 64 games are kind of crap? They just didn't have the capability. I was a Nintendo kid. I played it for the longest, but looking back, I'm just like, man, that jump to 3D was really, really rough. <laughs> uh, we've also got Johnny. Johnny is an associate of one of Guitar Beard's friends. He is the purveyor of the uh, totally legal poker games that Guitar Beard and I occasionally frequented. He was a large amorphous blob of a man with a literal neck beard and more health issues than you could shake a stick at. His hair had gone almost completely gray and his skin was cracked and dry. Though being 35, he looked to be 55, most likely due in no small part of his crappy diet of alcohol and research chemicals and long nights without any sleep. 35 is definitely about the age where you start to feel all of the really bad decisions that you made earlier in life. Oh, Johnny, <laughs> you can't wind it back now. You could try and keep it from getting any worse, but somehow I don't think he's gonna bother doing that either. We've also got Big Mac. BM was Johnny's partner in crime. Also a very chunky boy, with the added benefit of working out and getting in more fights than anyone else that I knew. A man who was quick to laugh, but also quick to anger. Pretty great guy though, as long as you were on his side. I don't think you could trust somebody like that, man. He seems like way too volatile. I want to know the kind of response that I can expect. You know, you say a joke and you're like, I don't know. He might laugh, he might try to punch somebody. Nah, I don't think I'm going to kick it with Big Mac. <laughs> Side characters, of course, there are a lot of people who don't really need to be in the cast list as they serve a singular or non-important purpose to the story. They'll be introduced as they appear. There's like five tables in Johnny's basement for poker night. So if I had to list everyone by name, we would be here all day. Yeah, and I probably wouldn't remember him anyways. Even five characters is, is pushing the limit. I guess we only got four here. I never said I could count. Moving on. <laughs> so there I was. In my room, playing League of Legends. Oh no. And feeling my blood pressure increase with every game loss due to someone trolling. <laughs> no amount of the devil's lettuce could possibly calm me. You know, there's a key bind that will calm you right down. Just hold down Alt and press F4. <laughs> and then it's over. And then you walk away and never look back. There's probably a key bind to uninstall it. I don't know it offhand. Now, was it just the game that was driving me insane? Eh, yes and no. League has always been one of the most toxic games, in my opinion. I don't know, bro. Valorant giving it a run for its money. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege was up there when I was playing on it. Online gaming as a whole is just kind of a painful experience. <laughs> Turn the chat off. It's fine. Compounding all this, Guitar Beard was drunkenly strumming his guitar, singing one of his favorite go-to songs, Paint It Black, which is normally a song that I enjoy. But his particular cover of that song made me want to paint my wall with the contents of my skull. <laughs> it's not worth it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, despite my attempts to drown out the sound by placing my mattress against the door of my room, it still wafted in unreasonably loud. I think you need to get you like one of them nice sets of noise canceling headphones and also quit League of Legends, okay? That is like really <laughs> one of the most terrible games that you could pick. Do I still play it from time to time? Yeah, sure. 
but only because I hate myself. I fully acknowledge that, all right? <laughs> My phone chirped as one of Johnny's large group texts came through. Game tonight, 7 p.m., it said. Now, I was no fan of Johnny's. His totally legal poker games were not my cup of tea. I enjoyed throwing a few bucks around from time to time, but in general, it was just not my scene. For the small price of admission, though, it wasn't half bad. Johnny always served snacks and drinks, and the Devil's Lettuce more or less for free, as long as you bought into the game. Which I do have to admit, I did admire that part of his hustle. The gambling addicts can rationalize their lost wages as long as they get some free beer and sandwiches out of it. I spent some time debating whether or not to go. Then I noticed that Guitar Beard's auditory assault had ceased. There was a noise as my door began to open. Honestly, gambling's not my scene either. I'm relatively terrible at poker, but I think OP's got it nailed down. What else do you need besides some free beer and sandwiches? What is the buy-in, okay? I'm gonna give you $5. <laughs> five dollars for my sandwiches and beer and then uh, i'm good for the night just eat and drink my fill and take my leave anyways the door begins to open and op says wait hold on i need to too late the mattress propped up against my door had fallen onto the back of my head as guitar beard tried to shove his way into my room op hold the hell on <laughs> <laughs> it really is just so clueless. Can you not tell there's something blocking the door? Can you not at least try to be considerate in a house that the two of you have to share? I shouted as I stood and dragged my mattress back to the bed frame. Guitar Beard just stood there, drunkenly staring at me with the same lifeless, dead-eyed stare that he would give me when he was about to ask me to do something. Guitar Beard. Uh, hey, OP. <laughs> Johnny's having a game tonight. Um, where are you gonna go? <laughs> uh, OP. Um, I was considering it. Why do you ask? Guitar Beard. Well, I haven't eaten in a few days. Oh, God. <laughs> so I was thinking you might be willing to buy me in. It's Friday, which usually means he's serving hot dogs. Ah, uh, yes. Let us sustain ourselves on overpriced pig lips and anuses, shall we? <laughs> I'm really curious as to what the buy-in is. As if you couldn't go buy a pack of hot dogs cheaper than, than the buy-in is, right? OP says, dude, you already owe me a bunch of money. Guitar Beard. It's just 20 bucks. We both know you make more than that at Johnny's. Plus, if I win big, I could pay you back. Yeah, if. <laughs> Why am I gonna gamble on you, Guitar Beard? You drunken slob. You're not even responsible with your own money. How can I presume that you're gonna be responsible with my money? I contemplated all this. Guitar Beard was right about that. I tended to make good sales at Johnny's, though it did fly in the face of my only sell to people that you know rule. But that's the great thing about people who just want a bunch of money and are intoxicated. They tend to spend their money on stupid crap, such as my totally legal products. I might partake, as a matter of fact. Doesn't matter if I just won or not, I just sort of miss it, okay? <laughs> so I allowed myself to bend my rule while at Johnny's. Also, Guitar Beard occasionally had the luck of the devil. It was usually a losing bet to bet on Guitar Beard, but something about this night seemed different. Oh, fingers crossed, I guess. OP. All right, screw it. Might as well. But it's a buy-in, not a loan, okay? And it's a 60-40 split my way, Guitar Beard. That's not fair. Buy-in is 50-50. <laughs> Uh, you gonna haggle me on this now? OP? Yeah, but you owe me money, so 60-40. Or I stay here and keep throwing my sanity into a wood chipper named League of Legends. 
All right, we all know the game's terrible. You, you should never play it, but uh, who's your main, though? <laughs> Guitar beard. Eh, fine. Uh, but you know that's a BS deal. Now, you might be wondering what the hell we're talking about. There's a thing in gambling decorum. There are two ways to loan someone money. Either you loan them the money and they pay you back, win, lose, or draw. So you lend someone 20 bucks and you get your 20 bucks back regardless. The other option is to buy someone in. This comes with the downside of it not being a loan, but a bet. If the person you buy in wins money, you get half that money. Now, I don't know if these are official loaning rules in relation to poker, but these are the rules that Guitar Beard taught me, so it's possible that he lied to me. Honestly, it makes perfect sense to me. I knew where you were going with this long before we got there, so yeah. He lies about a lot of things, but I don't think this, necessarily. Guitar Beard and I both got ready. I changed into some comfy trip pants and my favorite black hoodie. I then loaded my backpack with several uh, totally legal substances that might make me a bit of money. I then went into the living room and waited. Guitar Beard soon emerged from his nest, unchanged, wearing his flat cap and in the same stained sweatpants he often wore. God, I hate sweatpants, bro. Especially after the Chris Trucker series, but it's been a problem for so much longer than that. Sweatpants are for people who just don't care anymore. You can get as fat as you want because your goddamn pants won't tell you to stop. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, stretch them out. Sure, fine, whatever. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that he wears sweatpants. I don't remember if it was mentioned before, but I really got a problem with sweatpants. I dug into the bag and opened a Ziploc bag full of fun fungus, removing what I estimated to be about a gram. I consumed it and then stood to leave. Fun fungus, man. It's been a long while. I'm not sure that I want to, but I probably would. <laughs> if it was an option, if it was presented, yeah, why not? OP. All right, we got about 30 minutes before that kicks in, so uh, let's get moving, buddy. We left our apartment and headed towards Johnny's, an uncanny silence punctuating the trip. Guitar Beard normally couldn't shut up for more than five minutes at a time. I looked over at his forlorn expression and ventured into a conversation that I really did not want to have. OP, are you going to be moping all night, Guitar Beard? What? OP, you're moping. I can tell, Guitar Beard. I'm just sad. The chastity left me. And she's back with her ex again. I don't know why she keeps going between the two of us. OP, because you both allow it? The second one or both of you realize that, the sooner this stupid game of boyfriend go round stops. <laughs> He's blunt, but he has a point. Guitar Beard is just super scared to let her go because he knows that he's already, like, batting way above his weight. <laughs> Guitar Beard. But I'm in love with her, and I just want her to be with me forever. Ugh. What do you offer? <laughs> what reason would someone stay with you forever? Just answer me that simple question. A crack in his voice let me know that soon... He would be crying. I turned the CD player on and let the music fill the car. <laughs> uh, it's the right move. Now, Fallout Boy is probably not the best choice of music for someone who is about to get emotional, but I don't care. The music was not for Guitar Beard's benefit. It was for mine. And no matter how loud you turn up the music, sugar, we're going down, down. Is that a Fallout Boy song? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the trip passed without conversation. Me contemplating a game plan for the night. Guitar Beard silently weeping. Probably planning on drinking more than his fair share of Johnny's liquor. Eventually, we pulled up to Johnny's house and found parking. We wandered to the house and let ourselves in. We walked through the living room and the kitchen. Here, Guitar Beard stopped and wandered over to the kitchen counter greedily eyeing the hot dog buffet left out for the guests. 
Oh my god, there's not gonna be any hot dogs left, is there? How do you literally let yourself starve for days on end because you have no idea how to manage your money? Like, even Bourgeois Beard figured out how to dumpster dive. Maybe catch a clue from that, Guitar Beard. OP leaves our Beardo behind and heads down to the basement. The smell of various types of smoke wafted over me as I walked into the basement. It was a nice setup. He had an amazing finished basement. Six poker tables filled the room with a few slot machines he had procured along the back walls. Johnny slowly rose to greet me. Johnny? How's it going, OP? Are you playing tonight? OP? Yeah, I'll play the tournament. How many players tonight, Johnny? Huh, almost four full tables, so the payout should be good. Johnny offered me a large tobacco tube that he was smoking from. It smelled like the devil's lettuce, but I politely declined, knowing that Johnny often mixed the weird research chemicals he bought online into his wacky tobacco. I mean, it's your smoke. You could, you could do it however you want, but maybe don't. <laughs> I, I don't want any adulterants in my devil's lettuce. Thank you very much. I handed him my $25 buy-in and sat down at an open seat. The subtle effects of the fungal chemicals slightly tickling my brain started washing the world with color. As I took a deep breath to ground myself, a hand clasped my shoulder. I turned to see Guitar Beard, a paper plate stacked with messily crafted hot dogs in one hand. <laughs> Guitar Beard, hey, can, can I get that 20 bucks? OP, buy-in is 25. I said this while fishing out my wallet. Guitar Beard, oh, I'm not playing the tournament. I'm playing at the cash table. OP, why would you do that? Guitar Beard, I just want to make a lot of money fast. I know I can do it, OP. Just trust me. OP, I'm not leaving early if you get felted in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll still beg. Go upstairs, Guitar Beard. Gorge yourself on hot dogs until I'm ready to leave. I said all this before handing over $25, despite my internal protests. He thanked me and went to sit at a cash table. For those who don't know, a tournament is where you buy in for a set amount of money and receive a large amount of play money. You then play the game until someone has all of the fake money. At a cash game, you play for the actual amount of money that you buy in for. Buy in for $25, you get $25 worth of chips. Now, Johnny's was a unique house in the totally legal poker game circuit. You could play at a cash table for any amount of money. You want to buy in for $2? Okay, no problem. I saw Guitar Beard sit at a relatively low stakes cash game before refocusing as the tournament began. Bro, couldn't you have a lot more fun doing, like, the actual tournament rather than just taking 20 bucks over there and wasting it? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. He's really here for the hot dogs at the end of the day. Uh, now, I could go over the entirety of the events of the poker tournament in detail, like this is an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! or some such nonsense, but I won't. Oh, come on, OP. I guess you don't have the heart of the cards. But my grandpa put all his gaming knowledge, his whole heart, into assembling this deck. <laughs> God. Truth be told, I don't really care all that much about poker. I like the mental aspect of the game. The whole trying to tell whether or not you're being lied to. Calculating odds on whether or not your hand can beat another person's hand. Those are the things that I like about Texas Hold'em Poker. So honestly, I couldn't narrate it for you if I wanted to. That being said, two hours into the tournament, I was doing okay for myself. I hadn't lost all my chips, and I had some wiggle room to keep on playing for a while. Additionally, the super silly effects of the fungus among my brain cells was peaking, and I was having quite a good time. Does that make you a better poker player? I guess it could, because you kind of like tap into everything around you. As long as you're not, like, busying yourself with your own nausea or a bad trip, yeah. You could probably find out somebody's tells instantly. 
<laughs> it's like a superpower, maybe. I don't know. I can't advocate it publicly, okay? <laughs> uh, during the two hour break, I stood to go see how Guitar Beard was doing. I was pleasantly surprised to see that he had a large stack of chips in front of him. He looked back and showed me his hand before pushing all of his chips in. He had pocket aces, and he had paired an ace on the flop. Three aces is a good hand to ship your chips on. He got called by two other players, and his hand held. He had just tripled what was already a generous pile of chips. Yeah, on the flop, you got three aces? Ah, that is the devil's luck, bro. What is going on here? <laughs> uh, now it's time to walk away. You did great for yourself. Now, now stand up, take your winnings, and go home. But he's not going to do that, is he? <laughs> OP. Oh, crap. How much do you have there, Guitar Beard? Eh, $375 and some change. OP, that's awesome. Why don't you cash out, Guitar Beard? Eh, I'm just going to take my chips and keep playing. I'm on a hot streak tonight. I have to keep playing. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> he's going to blow it. Either that or he's going to get caught cheating. 100%. OP. Okay, but hear me out. Why don't you cash out? You pay me my 60% and then you can play with what you have left and you get to keep all of that, Guitar Beard. Uh, Cause then I won't have as much money to push and I'll make money slower. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a tragic thing to watch. I mean, it's only a little over a hundred bucks, but a beard and his money are soon parted. OP had the right idea. It's time to go. We won. <laughs> we had a good night. Now cash out. But he is going for broke. And I don't understand why. Gambling's weird, bro. I don't really get it. I, I, I don't see the appeal personally, but Guitar Beard obviously has that in him. The goblin that operates my brain by bicycle power began slamming his head into the handlebars. <laughs> Who in the world would say no to that arrangement? I threw my hands up in the air and stormed up the stairs to go smoke a cigarette outside. While outside, I made nice with some of my fellow players and attempted to make some of those totally legal sales. Eventually, we were called back in by Johnny and the tournament resumed. I played for another two hours as I descended from my heightened state of awareness, the return to normal neurochemistry left me with a distinct afterglow and a positive mood. Wow, that's not my experience at all. I have like this grinding come down. <laughs> I don't much like that part, but um, I guess you've taken the ride enough to know how to deal with it. Anyway, soon after the tournament had ended, in a four-way all-in on one single hand, and I did not win. But I placed, and I got my buy-in back, plus a couple of bucks. I walked over to where Guitar Beard was sitting. Almost four whole tables were now filled with cash games of various stakes. Guitar Beard had increased his chips significantly. I was slightly impressed, but my calculation at this point in the night he had just over a thousand dollars. I also noticed he had increased his blood alcohol levels uh, quite significantly. <clears throat> Bro, I'm gonna reach in and just take my chips, okay? 60% of these are mine now. This, we're, we're talking hundreds of dollars, all right? From $300 to $1,000, you cash me out right now or we're fighting. I'm shocked that he made it this far. I'm shocked that he's still going, but uh, it's not going to go forever. It's going to end badly. OP says, wow, you are making out like a bandit. Hey, tournament's over. You want to call it? Guitar Beard. Hell no, OP. He never stop on a hot streak. I'm getting ready to go to a higher stakes table. OP. Guitar Beard. That's like two, three, maybe four months of rent sitting in front of you. Don't you think that maybe it's time to stop?
It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? Guitar beard. Hey, you know the rules. <laughs> you pop me in. It's my money until I stop playing. Oh my god. This is the point where you grab him by the shoulders and you say, you cash me out right now, or you cash me outside. How about that? <laughs> cash me outside. How about that? Uh, yeah, got him. <laughs> I wanted to argue with this. I really, really did, but Guitar Beard was right. The dirty looks from the players around the table let me know that I was in the wrong. Earlier in the night, I had received a text from Philly, a good friend of mine. He wanted to eat some silly fungus and play some cool video games. I decided to take him up on this offer and texted him back, telling Guitar Beard to call me whenever he needed a ride, knowing all too well that I would probably not even be able to drive for the next four to six hours once I got to Philly's. I departed and went to Philly's apartment where we ingested a hearty amount of that silly fungus and some devil's lettuce. Honestly, really good combo. Mary Jane is like uh, a good friend when you're on that trip because she keeps you from freaking out too hard. I'm not gonna say necessary, but definitely helps a lot if you're gonna take that ride. <laughs> a lot of the rest of that night is just a blur. I remember playing Gears of War and his rave girl of the week making us some fettuccine. I also remember dry heaving into a toilet for about half an hour before I was good and sober again. See, that's, that's, yeah. The nausea is just terrible. And while you're tripping, God, it's just amplified. <laughs> Something I will never forget. After a long night and early morning of chemical-fueled gaming, I was ready for bed. I hadn't heard from Guitar Beard all night, though, so I texted him to see what was going on. I got a text back with a picture of an obscene amount of chips and a second one that said, I'm still playing. I took my leave and drove back to Johnny's. Good God, dude. You're not just going to lose 300. You're not just going to lose a thousand. You are going to lose tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. I knew he kept the game running as long as people were playing, but I didn't think Johnny would keep on going for 13 hours. When I arrived, there were only five people left playing. I walked up to Guitar Beard and asked the obvious question of how much money he had. I received a slurred answer that only barely passed as intelligible. Guitar Beard, it's something like 25,000. OP, you're kidding me. Guitar Beard, go ahead and count it. <laughs> it's a hot streak. <laughs> yes, it is. Now it's time to go home. <laughs> uh, please don't take this away from me. God damn it. <laughs> he said all this, swinging his arms widely and knocking over his own stack of chips. He drunkenly clambered to the ground and began picking them up. Guitar Beard, Hey, Johnny, is my half hour up, and I want to cash it out. Johnny? Yeah, you're good, but... Johnny said this and went to his wall safe and brought back a stack of money seemingly larger than 25000 Johnny? Want to go double or nothing? Single hand of blackjack? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was absolutely stunned by this. First of all, I was incredibly jealous of the obscene display of wealth that Johnny was often famous for. Second, I was considering running my own poker game, because apparently it was incredibly profitable. Third, and most importantly, no one is stupid enough to gamble this amount of money on a single hand of blackjack. I began to let out a chuckle before my laugh seized in my throat. Guitar Beard. Um, I'm in. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Johnny doesn't want to pay him out. And yeah, it can be lucrative, illegal gambling, etc., etc., but you're gonna get caught eventually. You think he's still doing it to this day? Highly doubtful. <laughs> OP. What the hell? No, Guitar Beard. You are not in. You're too drunk. Just take your money and leave. Johnny. 
He's a grown boy. He can make his own decisions. Guitar beard. Yeah. I'm going to take all that money. And then we both get 25,000 OP. OP? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Look, I'll change our terms. You walk away now. I'll make it a 40-60 split your way. That's 15K for you and 10K for me. Guitar beard. But think about it, OP. We could have even more. Yeah, you could also have nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Big Mac interrupted and said, Sounds like the man wants to play. Big Mac's gigantic frame rose from the end of the table. His voice, in no uncertain terms, said, Shut up, OP. And with that, my vote in the proceedings had been revoked. Johnny. Okay, one hand, winner takes all, said Johnny, removing a single deck of playing cards and slowly showing that the deck was complete and unaltered. He then vigorously shuffled the deck. I tried to keep an eye on his shuffling to see if any shenanigans were afoot. Once it was shuffled, Johnny placed the deck in front of Guitar Beard, and he placed a single finger on top of the deck before pushing it back to Johnny without cutting it, something that I had seen him do many times while playing Magic the Gathering. Guitar Beard, it's good. <laughs> it's good for now. It's about to be real bad. <laughs> Johnny dealt out the cards and immediately flipped his after checking them. It was a 21. He had dealt himself an auto win. Johnny. Tough luck, Guitar Beard. <laughs> Better luck next time. Guitar Beard. That's freaking BS, man. You, you cheated. Johnny. The fuck did you just say? An argument broke out as I placed my head in my hands and shook my head. If I hadn't lost the ability to cry from years of childhood neglect, I probably would be crying at this point. No, me too, though. <laughs> this is a tragedy. My pleas to the heavens that this was some sort of dream. Maybe I was still on Philly's couch and I was just hallucinating. This couldn't be happening. Why was this happening? Who would do this? <laughs> Uh, only Guitar Beard. Then I was broken from my trance of existential quandary as the sound of banging and chips scattering across the floor rang out through the basement. I looked up. Guitar Beard had dove onto the table and snatched up several stacks of bills. Oh, you, you poor idiot. <laughs> You did this to yourself. You could have walked out the door a free man. But no, you just had to see dollar signs. Oh, we could walk out with 50k or zero. I'll take the sure thing every time. What are you doing? I guess this is why they let him get nice and liquored up. In his drunken stupor, he had knocked himself and the table to the ground. He tried to scramble up, but Big Mac had strode across the room and lifted Guitar Beard up to his feet before shoving him. Guitar Beard staggered and threw a punch at Big Mac's chest. It connected, but not with enough force to even bother the chunky power lifter. This was, in the words of Megadeth, First mistake, last mistake. <laughs> what followed is Guitar Beard being dragged around outside by Big Mac and another man that we'll call Battery. They then proceeded to beat Guitar Beard. I suppose he had the boots put to him, medium style. <clears throat> you remember that scene from the Powerpuff Girls where they beat Mojo Jojo so hard that he just looked like a black and blue mess? Well, that was basically this beat down. I didn't step in, I didn't stop it. Part of me even wanted to kick him once or twice myself. He had just lost a literal life-changing amount of money. I mean, well, life-changing for a college kid, at least. I drove my car from up the block to Johnny's and got Guitar Beard onto the back seat. <laughs> yeah, I guess he learned a hard lesson this day, or, or probably a couple of hard lessons, at least. 
I drove him away, and it would be quite some time before I would go back to Johnny's. The embarrassment of Guitarbeard's actions always stuck to me in some way, or I knew I'd have to answer questions about him. Being his roommate had consequences outside of the constant caterwauling and drunken stupidity. I never brought up that night again to Guitarbeard. I don't know if it was out of anger or pity, but I still hope that he beats himself up about that stupid decision, if he even remembers it. I'm sure there's some part of him that remembers it. He definitely remembers that ass kicking. <laughs> uh, God, dude, this is such a sad story. I knew he was going to lose it. I knew there was going to be a fall, but he almost made it out with 25 grand, bro. I think that's the saddest part of all. Following these events, Guitarbeard would use these injuries to once again creep on the subject of his one-itis, using it as a pretext to get her to come over, and eventually this road led into them getting back together, at least for a short stint of time. Now I know this isn't the cringiest tale, there isn't much maladying, and it's mostly about Guitarbeard making a terrible decision in a drunken stupor. It's also a subject matter that I imagine most people don't even care about. Poker isn't fun to read about. <laughs> I tried to make it as fun as I could, but I know it's not as good as the other parts, and that is why it was omitted from the original run of Guitar Beard. Due to popular demand, however, and some questions that I've been asked, I've decided to dust off some of the stories that didn't make it in and go ahead and put them up. So. I hope you'll join me for the Guitar Beard Point Five series, where we dive into singular events that are more about the infinite stupidity of our very own Guitar Beard, because I got a few more to tell. I wonder how severe the injuries are for a beatdown like that. I mean, if he wasn't at least slightly brain damaged before, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Probably not a great thing to joke about, but come on. He was almost out. I don't know why he made this decision. It just hurts me. It just hurts me real deep. And I wish it wasn't like that, but sometimes it is. <laughs> why would you fall for it? He just saw the money in front of him. He's like, that's a big stack. I know that sober me would definitely not take the gamble, but who knows what drunk me would do. He probably was blackout drunk at that point and... Even if his conscious mind doesn't remember, his subconscious mind always will. Ugh. This was a painful one. I mean, I, I knew where it was going long before we got there, but just seeing it all unfold, yeah, it was rough. <laughs> I, I don't like Guitar Beard as a person, but in this case, yeah, I wanted OP to get that money. Goddamn. I still hope that you enjoyed the episode, friends. If you did, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. Maybe check out the links in the description. All kinds of stuff down there. Plugs, playlists, podcasts, Spotify, iTunes, Teespring, if you're trying to rock that merch. Uh, we did live stream this whole thing over on Twitch. I've got plenty of other social medias for you to peruse as well. Twitter, Discord, Facebook, uh, Patreon, and also my gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous channel members. They hanging out too. I appreciate them all. I'd like to thank them very, very much as I do every video. So thank you too. Bedazzled Misery, Skyler Rain, The Fez Wearer, That One Gay Cop, Valley Eye Crane, She's a Rosie Rainbow, Slow Spooner, Sean Campbell, Heaven Set, Robert Timothy, Jackie McQuitty, Grim Stride, Train Boy, Agent Collins, The Tiny Boy, Tooth Plushy, Corey Arts, Kelly Clark, Legolas, Loser, Florence Waver, Dungeon Bad, Billy D, Robert Waits, Brandon Ashcraft, John Endorse, Phantom Danica, Orgamy Steve, Skyler May, Amara, The Gypsy Barber, Fire Drake, Samantha, Death's Flag, Shift, The Bearded Snake, and Buy Two, Get One Hand. Heading over to Patreon, we've got Miss Black, Harley Holly, Robert Allen Waits, again, Camille Sarah, <laughs> Chance the Blue Dragon, Roxanne Wolf, Sim, Jerry Conrad, Amy Fluxer, I Need Coffee, Yummy Pooh, <laughs> Captain Cloud Jerry, Ellipses, Aaron Jerry, Deku, Esteban, Orgamy Steve, Santa Jerry, Silent Robert, PCB, The Original Jerry, Jerry, Ravencraft, Helmodius, The Fourth, Tick Jerry, Destiny Piper, Jerry, Kitsune, Salty Wizard, a very tired Jerry, feel that too. That's why I need the coffee. <laughs> Justin Jargonia Jerry and Frank and Barry, that hide bitch though. It's Sassapub Jerry, Baby Jerry, Bailey Joy, Peter Jerry, Benji and the Jets, Billy D, Bitch Gremlin, Blade Hero, Bronze Cracker, Commander J Tank, Dr. Lawrence, Aaron Era, Esports, Rose Number Studio, Fire Drake, Kismo Jack, Hadrian BR, Inquisitor Jerry, Irish Pirate, Lust of Blue Marble and a Mutiny, All oh, Tragic, Iron Olive, Radiant Jam, JM Coon, Jerry Smith, Jerry Blacktail, Jerry Dial, Mother Trunk, Hong Kong, Jerry, 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 I'm begging you, please don't take my pin. What? <laughs> Jerry, wake up! I don't like this, Jerry, wake up! What is happening right now? <laughs> John Hero, Crew, He, Cully Kraken, Lady Italian Greyhound, Dino, Lady in Awakening, Lauren Crow, Legitimate Girl, Miss Monday, Lord Jerry, Luca Vex was a race car driver. He was a good friend of mine. Never did win that checkered flag, but I helped him drink his wine. <laughs> like and subscribe, my Lady Nix, Melgar the Destroyer, Metal Factor, Needless King 89, Paradise 
Cole, Phantom of the Pines, Derrickens, and Jerry Beth, Queens, Quay, Lutz, and Quack Myers, Ram Todd, Lacrimates, Rose, Jerry Miller, Sarita, the Lolita, Scarlet's Coven, Sergeant Gate Cop, Bring on the Law, Silo Whip, Steve Bugelli, Stephanie Goodner, Synaptic Boomstick, Brilliant Tomago, Tabby of the Blue, The Gypsy Barber, The Lilith Who, Who Are You Fuzzy? This isn't even my final beard. Try to find another bomb to get back in the real world. Vanguard Angel, VC3, Viking Jerry, Boy, the Comet Destroyer, Wiki Tax, Zephyr Gargoyle, or Clay, Comrade Moody, Kira, not another Jerry, but he is though. KJLS9, Red Wind, Ben Penny Lane, not the Bible, Saint Stuff, Venom Jerry, Jace Richardson, One Leg Jerry has returned from battle. Salute to you, a normal Jerry. All right, Red, but you I bring Doritos, but I count on your expertise if they attract beards. Yeah, no one's good. We'll chase him off with soap. <laughs> Admiral T Tank, Amber Alder, another stupid hipster, a Tommy Jerry Sailor, Breaker of the Tom Army, Bartender Kelly, a big dad, Wolf, Broken Spine, Horse Rancher, Kate Jerry, the original different Jerry, California Jerry Girl, Chevron Seven, Lock Chicago Panda, Corey Desart sometimes, <laughs> Cal Bunga Cody, Cryptides, the Fond Jerry, Dr. Tuna, Delf Jerry, Dwarfy Dude, Borman Ramsey, half the calories, all of the hate. <laughs> Uh, Ghost of Alpha, Grey Bond 365, Heath Knot, Hydra, Jerry Solman, Janitor, Jerry Roman, The Streets of Finland, Jasmine, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Geralt of Rivia, Jerry, but with two S's and an E, Jerry Springer, the results are in, you are not the neck bear, Jerry the Sussy Maka, Jerry's mom has got it going on, check out the mustache on Jerry Aldo Rivera, Jerry Roxers, Jerry Roleplaying Game, Keaton Tails, Kid Marvelous, Kids Again, Lucha Lovecraft, Machia CD, maybe next time, Milk Fed, Miss Duchess, Mr. Gaz Mask, Not Invisible Angel, Raptor, Seldom Dark, Skybar, Ravenswood, Smack my male bride set, Jerry, and getting that cheese, <laughs> God, uh, thanks, I hate it, Siri, that's Snob Jerry, Spoonie the Rogue, Spoopy Scary, Jerry Ton, all your season is coming up soon, Techno Dubs, the original Jerry, they call me Jerry Two Knives, Jerry Pie. <laughs> To Jerry and beyond Tokyo Bird, Uncale, Vaughn, throws two liter Mountain Dew, grow my neck beer, grow. It's Jerry time, hold Radix Morpher, hygiene. It's Jerry time, hold Radix Morpher, humility, and thank you to my gorgeous one dollar patrons as well. Bless up to all the Jerry's and not Jerry's alike. Yes. Thank you for helping me to keep moving the channel forward. If you can afford to support monetarily, that is absolutely huge. If you can't, don't sweat it too hard, friends. I just appreciate you coming on through, hanging out with me, and I hope that you'll come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. In order to do so, you need to keep yourself safe out there, wash your hands, but also take some time out and do something that you personally enjoy today, maybe like uh, watching some more Red X videos. Promise? <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I shall see you in the next one, and until then, friends, bye-bye. Uh,